Well, what's up again there, guys? Brian here, the Three Topics Gamer, and I just want to say welcome to 2022. Hopefully, this is the first day in another great year of uploading content for YouTube, and I would just like to make a quick little, well, maybe not quick, it might, might be a little bit extensive, just kind of giving you guys a little bit of an update on everything you can expect from my YouTube gaming channel for the year of 2022. Now, I think like a few weeks back, I uploaded a video kind of asking for requests and ideas of what you guys would like to see going into 2022. Because while the end of the year goal is still to kind of shoot for the next milestone, because last year's milestone was to get to 70,000 subscribers, which we not only managed to do sooner, we managed to blow past that and get a good head start on this year's goal in which I'm going to try to shoot for 80,000 subscribers, which I think is, is possible, but who knows anything can happen. Maybe, maybe this might be a down year, maybe it might be an up year, uh, but I definitely want to focus on uploading content that you guys would like to see the most because while I'm happy that the channel is growing, I still am not quite happy that the productivity and following of the of my channel is not as high as I would like it to be. I think this year I'm really going to focus very heavily on building a much stronger core sense of viewers. I mean, if I have over 70,000 subscribers yet, I'm having almost an impossibly difficult time just trying to average a thousand views a video. I think that shows that there's a number of problems and a number of challenges that I still need to overcome. And if we get to the end of our journey and I get to like 100,000 subscribers, which might happen in like two or three years, and I haven't built that following, then that'll probably be a good time for me to leave YouTube completely and try working on other things. Maybe start another channel or maybe put some time into building a better career. But hopefully that's worst case scenario. We, we definitely want to build a much stronger fo core following by the time we get to that you know, ultimate channel goal, which is definitely like two or three years away. So just guys give you a heads up in terms of what you can expect. Uh, one thing that I am definitely cutting back on is now that the Versus series is completely done, uh, I'm gonna cut back on not doing too many top five lists videos. Those videos didn't seem to do very well at all this year or last year. Uh, so I'm cutting back on those. I think the only time I might upload a couple of those is probably at the end of the year when you know, I can kind of sum up everything that I did in terms of like top movies or games or, or worst games or worst movies that I saw for 2022. So don't expect to see too many top five list videos for this year. But you will continue to see a lot of worst to best ranking videos. Those actually consistently did do a solid amount of viewership and did bring a good number of people in. So that's clear that that is definitely some type of content that you guys would like to see. I definitely want to try to diverse it a little bit instead of it being mostly a bunch of just nothing but tier list videos. I definitely want to have a balance between tier list videos and standard ranking worst to best videos because those have actually done very, very well in the past. So you can expect that. Uh, another thing that I'm definitely going to also keep trying to improve upon is getting more game reviews. Now, looking back at 2021, I actually didn't buy or even play too many new games. I mean, I, I mean, I didn't, I've had my PlayStation 5 for like less than a year now. Uh, and there were like a few key games I was able to pick up and review. Um, but as I look into 2022, I realized there's even not too many, uh, new PlayStation 5 games that I, I even plan on getting, like as it stands right now. There's only six games, like literally only six get new PlayStation 5 games that I plan to play in a review. Uh, three of them are, are definitive buys, and I, I think we'll even have them come with collected editions. Two of them are maybe buys, and one of them is probably going to end up being a rental. So to kind of increase the number of views that I do do, um, I'm going to definitely try to... Uh, crank up the amount of retro reviews that I, end, that I end up doing. Uh, I kind of started testing that a little bit in 2021, but I think this year, in order to add more game reviews that I can upload for my channel, I think adding retro reviews is definitely something that I definitely want to enhance a little bit more and add more uh, regularly into my channel. And I think when it comes to retro reviews, I think I'm going to focus on PlayStation exclusive content, PlayStation exclusive games roughly between the PlayStation 3 and 2 to 1 era. I don't think it's too soon to consider PlayStation 4 games as retro. I've always believed that, you know, there needs to be like a gap between generations before you can call an old generation retro. So I think that eventually when the PlayStation 6 
comes out, if I'm still doing my channel, then I can consider PlayStation 4 generation to be retro. So I think focusing on PlayStation 3 games and PlayStation 2 and 1 games, I think will be a good start. And I actually have looked at my library and there are a number of games that are still technically PlayStation exclusives that haven't been uploaded, uh, released on other consoles that I think could make for some great reviews. So expect to see that. Uh, other reviews that I will probably be doing is I'll definitely be cutting back on uh, movie reviews. I definitely want to continue to make this channel a much more game-focused channel. Uh, and as it stands right now, there's only like four movies that I'm probably going to end up reviewing, which is just uh, Sonic the Hedgehog 2, The Batman, Spider-Man, you know, going into the uh, Spider-Verse, and maybe the next Fantastic Beasts. Uh, outside of those, I'll probably see those films, but not want to do any reviews for that. Another thing that I also really want to do is I certainly want to do some collaboration with other YouTube channels. The problem is, is uh, I'm not sure which channels that I, I should collaborate with. I don't know what channels that you guys uh, watch because, you know, I watch my own series of channels that I would like to collaborate with. But I definitely want, since I do want to push to upload more PlayStation focused content, I think it would be nice if I can get in contact with other kind of PlayStation focus content creators and get in contact with them and then maybe do a couple collaborations because I actually realized I haven't done a collaboration in like maybe two years and I miss doing those. I, I think being able to talk to someone else who's kind of doing my, the same thing I'm doing who also has his own audience would be a great way to kind of help build up my own following or maybe we can just you know combine our followings and move on from there and then we, we make a series of collaboration videos and discussion videos. Uh, I'll also be uploading, again, more discussion videos. Those those are always fun to do. Uh, I definitely have maybe a few collector edition unboxings that I'd like to do. Um, I have a move to a new location that I have planned probably around May. So hopefully when I move to my new location, I'll be able to kind of improve the background. You know, people say that if you want like a, a great channel, you should also, also make your background a little bit more interesting. And yeah, I mean, it's nice that I'm combining my filming zone with my bedroom but it's kind of been that way for like the last number of years so I think when I move to my next location I'll definitely want to separate my bedroom from my filming location so that there's two different areas so I can have two different atmospheres I think that's something I'm definitely going to focus on uh, another thing that I might end up doing is maybe going to a couple of uh, you know conventions you know we have a few of those here in Vegas so that'll be good uh what else um oh yes um when it comes to also taking in requests for videos, I think that moving forward from this point on, um, I'm only going to take requests from those that follow me on Twitter. I think having all of the video topic ideas, either in terms of, you know, what some of you would like to, to see, I think having all those requests focused on Twitter makes it easier for me to organize because I get a lot of ideas because I have literally thousands of videos and I get all kinds of ideas from all different sources and sometimes it's kind of, I lose some of them. So I think a good way to kind of channel which, which you know, which ones, which one of you really wants your ideas sent, I think sending them to me directly on Twitter would be a great way. And if I promise you this, if you follow me on Twitter, I will follow you back because at this point, if I think, if I really want to kind of get to know my audience more, I think I should put in a little bit more effort to kind of get to know some of you out there on an individual base. I have a bunch of names that are subscribers and followers of mine, but I don't have a face. So I think getting to actually know some of you on a personal level, I think would be a great thing that I think both of us can do. That way you can communicate with me directly and I can get to know you a little bit more. I, I really want to, to attempt to do that. Also, when it comes to video content, um, I think moving forward, I want to average uploading somewhere between three to four videos a week. So in a month, I don't, I want to upload no less than 15, but no more than 20. I think, you know, obviously continue to upload a constant way of consistent content is a great way to grow your channel. I want to focus on uploading more quality content instead of quantity. So I don't think I'll be attempting to go shoot for my 31 videos in one month goal. I think that was a different, much earlier time in, in, in my channel. So I don't think I, I would have the time to attempt to do something like that because there's a number of things that I need to do in my personal life that are going to take up time. But I definitely want to focus on uploading more uh, quant quality content that I'm sure some of you guys can enjoy and hopefully will bring in more people to help grow the channel, not only in terms of subscriber goals, but in terms of you know general followers and building up a much stronger core followership. 
Uh, what else do I want to focus on? Oh, yes. Uh, when it comes to Twitch, I will definitely be still doing live streams weekly uh, on Twitch. Um, I'm still trying to figure out exactly what is a good time. Um, what works for a lot of you guys, like some like those Twitch streams will definitely still be focused on Wednesday and Thursday, which are my typical days off from work. Um, but I'm still trying to figure out what's a good time so that the most amount of you can actually join in. I need to try to find out exactly what type of games I want to be replaying because I still have not picked up the equipment to allow me to stream on older consoles. I'll definitely be working on that. So I'll be streaming directly from my PlayStation 5 and PlayStation 4. But I definitely want to play games that people will actually want to see me play through. And there's a lot of games that I've actually streamed here on YouTube that are still up. There's a lot of games. And I definitely want to focus on playing games that I think people really want to see me play. And I'm trying to find the right type of games because do I try to wait until newer games and stream those type of games on Twitch? Or do I play games that, you know, people definitely generally have some interest in and there's not maybe not too much traffic towards those games and so that might encourage newer people who perhaps don't know that I'm a YouTuber who watch me on Twitch can actually also hop over and follow me here on this platform here. And I think that about does it in terms of uh, everything I have planned for 2022. This is definitely going to be a very, very productive year. I hope that productivity leads to a lot of great experiences. Hopefully, I get to know you guys a little bit more. I mean, who knows? There's a whole bunch of different uh, possibilities in terms of directions. Also, I also definitely want to upload more reaction videos. But I'm not... But Unless it's like a new trailer for like an upcoming game or a movie that I know I'm going to see. I'm really not sure what I should be reacting to. So if you guys have any ideas that you would make for great reaction videos, make sure you send those ideas to me on Twitter. And remember, if you follow me on Twitter, I promise you I will follow you back. A lot of YouTubers like take in follows, but they don't follow their followers back. I promise you I will follow you back and try to keep track of what you're doing as much as I can. So that about does it for this little update video, just to give you a heads up of everything you can expect for 2022. Remember, if you do happen to enjoy this video by the end, please do not forget to like, share, and subscribe to keep track of me and all my future ideas. Remember, if you guys have any ideas for videos that you would like me to upload, hopefully over the next month or rest of the year, just follow me on Twitter and then send me a message directly and I will contact you back and I'll let you know exactly when I should have that video uploaded or when I will be working on it. So like always, thank you guys for watching. You're awesome. And I will hopefully enjoy seeing you all in 2022. So until then, I will see you all next time.